right to the rocks. Then I make that shit back. Run up on me, get shot in the back. Jerry TV in the building for your VX Club Show, man. Back another. Yeah, yeah, Sunday Pops. We have the one and only. I keep saying that every intro, it's getting corny. The GD from Gary, Schooly G documentary pops. Super talented, super wild and out on a microphone. We did Schooly G, the melodic Schooly. We did Come On Let's Go and I L W D, something like that. Yeah, I like the melodic flow. He had some gangster hardcore <laughs> drill. Yeah, the one that he was got shot at in the studio. I mean, yeah. in the video shoot. And I was saying, oh, he should do some kind of different kind of music. And the fans got out us in the comments. They're like, yo, he's got a lot of dope, melodic, different style music. And he really does. His kids. Really talented. Shout out to you, young man. Schooly. We need to sit down. We need to have a personal interview with you and let the world know because we are an international channel. And it's funny because I was looking for Schooly G interviews for a long time and finally, some, shout out to Blender Bars. He finally dropped one on Schooly G. I guess it's hard to find information about him because he's a new artist. Who did this? Blender Bars. Never heard of him. <laughs> Jerry TV, your Sky Channel. We love y'all, man. Join the Discord, follow our Instagrams. I think we shout out to her. Yeah, no more talk. No more talk. Playing B's and C's, but right now, like. We just trying to do the rap, cause I feel like we got the the ninth only rap. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no rap, we artist gang. We the really story of a savage never told. Talking about like it you know wore through saying? the lens of the bars of one of the like, raps' latest yeah, stars. Apps. Any twice my size, once my size, bro. You walk up on me, look at me wrong. Any I guarantee you, I face your where we at on my dick cousin. I guarantee you, I Leo it right where you at on bro grave. I'm bro grave. Talking about? Why you so mad? He's arguing on IG Live. Ah, glut on bro grade, glut like nigga play with us like we not like that. Like we don't spank ass on bro. It's a scary stuff, right? But imagine these guys just got along instead of killing each other. Imagine and make more money. Mm -hmm. They can make double the money. But maybe nobody will care. That's the real answer, right? There was a rap song I used to say that. Man, yeah, I think nobody will care if, if everybody was in beef and nobody would care about the rap scene in their, in their city, like Chicago Drill or maybe New York Drill. Because people wouldn't be as relevant. Yeah. Negative shit sells. Like people was, love train wrecks. People yeah. love car crashes. In Indiana, and responding police ended up shooting the suspected gunman. Oh, shit. It happened early this morning outside a nightclub near 7th Avenue and Broadway. Police say when they arrived, the officers GPD. Saw a suspected gunman, we should say, firing at a 28-year-old man who was already on the ground. Police then exchanged gunfire with the suspect. He was shot in the leg and treated at a hospital. No officers were. Long live T and long live Vaughn. Long live my father and free my uncle Hodge. Draco hit him, lose his feeling, slump him in the yard. They looking for me, but they know I'm on that boulevard. All right, now for this music, man. I mean, this is scary shit. The GD from Gary. Does the same. No yeah, it's Blender with another banger. In this video, we're talking about Screwly G from Gary, Indiana, who has been tearing up the music scene. Many fans Damn, have believed that Screwly G is from Chicago <laughs> because of the way that he raps and his association. What? With many he signed to Little Baby's label? Little Baby signed everybody. Right? Little Baby. Really? Not Little, Little Baby. Little Bibby signed everybody. He signed that kid from Australia, the Blanquita, the white kid. Oh, yeah? Um, He signed... He co-signed K Flock at one point. I think he was trying to sign him. Yeah, trying to get him into them 360 deals. <laughs> now, nah, well, who else did he sign? The way that he raps and his association with many of the Chirac savages. But in this video, we're going to do a deep dive deep into the dive. origins of Deshaun Bradley, the or better known in the streets as Screwly G. He was like Screwly old G young is right? from the Miller Beach neighborhood, young old. 35 minutes away from Chicago, wow. but he is not from the tourist area or from the suburbs. He's from the trenches <laughs> of Miller. Miller is on the far east side of Gary, Indiana. Stupid. Screwly G has Yo, allied the whole with the government. Michael Cooper. <laughs> Where do they get these names MC, from? MC, aka Bloodhound Q. Can y'all street moms, y'all hood moms, y'all YN moms? Just name y'all kids regular like names. John. Like from the Bible, John, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Job. It is? That's probably like Mika and Quail. Exactly. Yeah. Laquell and Mika. Yeah, I knew a girl Tamika. who had her father's and her son named together. Her father and dad name. That's very common in the... In the hood. In the hood. So, 
one of the close friends of Screwly. Screwly G is known for the descriptive lyrics included in his music, where he talks about sliding on his ops, and he also expresses his pain on several songs. With my dog, if he wrong, get he right. Quit popping them perks and went help in my mind. Jumped out my sleep, had a dream of me dying. Can't vent to no one, feel I'm wasting my time. Saw the book in my dreams, I woke up, I was crying. Just calls with my brother, he say that he fine. For uncle with the prison, my daddy had died. And everything Damn. go wrong, they call on me. I got you, hope you got me. Still feel, you know? Wow. It just really get oh, big, deep. like, so it's like, I ain't gonna lie, then it's like, I, don't, I ain't had no job since I was 16, bro, I won't, I won't be my own boss, you know what I'm saying, like, if the rap don't work, you know, we gonna work, we gonna with the houses, you know what I'm saying, flip them houses, like, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. we got plan B's and C's, but right now, like, we just trying to do the rap, cause I feel like we got that, and I ain't the only rapper, you know what I'm saying, we ain't no rapper, we artists, gang, we really, mm -hmm. we really live what we talking about, like, you know what I'm saying, it ain't no rhyme, just our life, you feel me, so, Screwly G makes it clear that he lives what he raps, and there is no lies in his music. He would also reveal that he jumped off the porch around 15 years old after losing his father in 2014. Oh, so he's so if he's, if he's 15 in 2014, that means he's oh he's kind of older guy. He's 25, 26. Yeah. Also, he blew up kind of late. You know, usually the rappers blow up. All the YNs are blowing up now, like. Every I mean, that's happened for the last 10 years, What's right? What's a YN? A young nigga. It's like oh, a TikTok dance and everything. A young nigga. Basically, a young nigga you see in the streets just wilding. <laughs> He's like, What's a YN? <laughs> What's a YN? <laughs> but yeah, Scooter's kind of an older gentleman, right? He's a he's So, what age would you say y'all uh, basically like jumped off the porch? You got out here? I ain't gonna lie. I've always been bad for you. You can do your homework on me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna put like on my diddy dad, like 14. That's when I really got outside. You know what I'm saying? More so. So, like, they got the really, pole right really, there. Like, 16, 15, 16. Man, here you speaking and all that. Like, a lot of pages. Tell them pop out. At the age of 15, I was running around with my Glock out. Niggas said smoke, catch them on the poach and blow the block down. I was just a jit when they told me Von G got gunned down. Better find a safer you know way. Some is? niggas don't yeah. make it out. Okay. Catch a nigga loafing. Shortly after diving into the streets, he would begin trapping by the store, oh, wow. and by he would store. decide to become a street <laughs> entrepreneur. At 16 years old, Screwly G would begin trapping in school and outside to expand his market. And I had me a dream to go to the pros, but that shit went for me. Used to trap out of Vegas, was only 16. Used to post by that store trying to give me some cheese. Catch me a hot and dead on the scene. Just had me a wreck trying to sip that lean. At a roll of the X, don't care about me. Pay the band for the strap, same price for the jeans. Big ass chop, put a hole through a tree. Five, five, six, and a two, two, three. No, it's seven, six, two, make a fuck nigga scream. Big ass block, 10 million on me. Blood and shit was left all through the streets. So my mama, you know, you was raising a bitch. She did what she could, but I did what's for me. When fucking with school, I was serving. That we can't go like LeBron. I ain't leaving my heat. I mean, all the shit that I say on the beat. Wow, you can't right. go like LeBron. I can't leave. I'm not leaving my heat. Yeah, he was in school. He was selling that weed. Damn, yeah, that was hot. This guy's pretty talented there, right? Ain't fucking with me, ain't doing no drills. They just copying me, nigga. Know I get active whenever it's beat. Oh, yeah. Come through in this. <laughs> Sean Bradley. Or better known in the streets as Screwly G. Oh, D. Was bro. born on October 18th, 2000. Uh -huh. He was raised with both of his parents until his father would suddenly lose his life in 2014. Wow. Oh, sorry. Screwly G would say on Facebook, If my daddy ain't die, wonder where would I be? Seen him dead and I turned to the streets. My cousin had died, it'd be bothering me. No appetite, it'd be hard for me to eat. Know how it feel to leave blood in the streets. Word around town, they got money on me. He would continue. F it though, I'm strapped, nah, what up? Happy heavenly birthday, Pops. Wow. MB R. legend. R. I love and I miss you, thug. Sincerely, Dull. your youngest boy. Damn. Screwly G's father was a highly respected gangster in the Miller Beach area. But you always say this, always bro. It's generations of gangbangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe he probably still would have been in the streets if his pops was alive. Because there's people right now whose pops is alive and in their life, and they still become street dudes. That's the sad part. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's like uh, people on a hamster wheel. They can't get out of the, 
that routine. Cycle. Yeah, that cycle. And I grew up around it. We had people who are still gangbanging and their pops is dead or in jail. Or alive and free. Or alive and free. And the, and the kid is like, I knew a dad that he was scared of his son. That's how crazy his son was. I'd be like, yo, what up with your son? He's like, yo, man. He crazy. Wow. Yeah. And like, you can't really... I never be scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure to make time for his kids, and Screwly G would honor him in several songs. Know what it look like is not what it seems. If Boogie ain't die, wonder how would it be? If my daddy ain't die, wonder where would I be? I seen him dead and I turned to the streets. My cousin had died, it be bothering me. No appetite, it be hard for the eat. No half feel to leave blood in the streets. Word around town, they got money on me. Fuck it though, I'm strapped now, what up? Deshaun Bradley would lose his cousin, Tyreek Fox, the year yeah. after his father would lose his life. And the loss of his cousin would also hurt him deeply. Tyreek was also known as Tink, and he was found with a gunshot wound to his back. Oh, wow. The coroner would pronounce him deceased, and the event would later proved to be an accident. Tyreek's oh, mother wow. would tell the Chicago Tribune that she does not know exactly what led up to the shooting. I'm about to put this at two times speed, bro. She awaits He's talking answers, like this. But she says somebody might have been playing with a gun. What happens? <clears throat> RP man. Screwly G would talk about Tink on a post on Facebook saying, the tink I remember, I love you big cuz, you know how I get about you, you finna have some company real soon. <laughs> Swear to god I wish you could see this ish tie we all doing what we used to dream about. Yo smile would light up the whole room, I miss your energy so much cuz. Screwly G would also say, Lord knows I miss my cousin Tyreek Fox. I couldn't stomach it. Screwly G would honor his cousin Tink in several songs, and he would also launch TTA or Ty's Top Assassins in honor of his cousin Tyreek oh, wow. Fox. Screwly G would shortly become a leader of Shoot to Kill slash TTA. All right, Ty he's probably not the leader, and, and I don't like documentaries that say stuff like this because it's like, or in general, they always be like. Yeah, he was the gang leader, the rapper. Just how the girl Nate Benz, the mm -hmm. the girl from New York, she just got arrested for shooting a bunch of people or shooting at people allegedly in the Bronx. And cause just because she's the rapper, she's the leader. That doesn't mean she's the leader, gang, because she's the rapper. Yeah, yeah. They said that for every artist. Yeah, yeah. Casanova said it was a rapper, he was the leader. And they get caught up. They get, yeah. they get I, caught up with the Rico. I mean, I guess because he had the money, but he didn't right. do nothing though. He's the face. But why they say you're the leader for the rapper? I guess because you're the face, I guess. You're the face, That's yeah. so corny though. Like I top assassins. His cousin Tink was from Terrytown. It was a hood located off of West 25th Avenue in Clark Road mm. on the west side of Gary. We're not Although at. many believe that the death of Tink was an accident, Screwly G would grow animosity towards those on the west side. Mm. Screwly G would start to go on drills when he was 16 years old and he would use rifles, according to his lyrics. I was 16 having Boy, shootouts for rifles, kill all the odds, we gon' make a disciple. I was 16 having shootouts for rifles, kill all the odds, we gon' make a disciple. Screwly G would begin going on drills with his best friend Ooh. named Boogie. Government named Jasmine Owens. Yeah, yeah, chop stick around with the Ozzy beat. Lone little bull got his face on my lock screen. We was doing drill way before we turned 18. On my way to the drop, to the Oz, don't rush me. Blitz them and missed, then that fuck nigga lucky. Know what it is, know this shit can get ugly. I go where I want dare nigga to touch me. Got up close, all he heard was a bar. Fold him on his ass, he ain't make it to the car. Blitz. Back in, I go out of town to catch a play and pick up back ends. Me and Boog was blowing niggas down, that was my best friend. Mm. Tell him free little jizzle, that's my dog, I said, love them back ten. I mean it, that's what I said. We ain't squash the smoke, gon' kill them all until they all dead. I can't get no sleep, cause I got demons up in my head. Me and Boog. He be, he be speaking, though, I'm not gonna lie, right? He talking that shit. He could, go, he could be on some Rod Wave level, like, relatable, like, sad, depressing music. I just hope he's not staying in Milwaukee. Um, Gary Indiana. 
He's, he's 67 years old. Yo, I'm 67 years old, yo. I get shit wrong sometimes. Bear with me. Was my niggas down. That was my no, best man. friend. You were joking with him. Switches and two different drakes. Niggas talk that gangsta shit for bitches. They know when on play. We clap them for that diss and catch one slip and pull one in the grave. We just hit our eye block over West, but it wasn't no one else. Catch you with them niggas. Get the blick and tell them stay away. STK stepped in the party. All the bitches stopping stuff. Catch the wrong face and sat this bitch, but he get left in here. Screwly G had not began making music at this point, but him and Boogie were gaining the reputation of being the top shooters in Gary. Screwly G would say on Instagram, on Jasmine, I can name five ops we made personally feel fire. Let's not talk about how many blitz on attempts. Ooh, on Tink. They gang can't even F with a picture of me. Oh, wow. Caught me a buzz. They thought it was over. Mm. Schooly G's TTA and STK were allied with Boogie's team, which was Dory Miller 2100 from the Dory Miller projects over East and Gary. Oh, While the war between the East and West side and Gary would intensify. Screwly G would begin to make music and he would talk about the Damn. drills. He's that been running for a while, man. Six years ago. This is not overnight, guys. If you ever if you're working on something or you have a business or anything, it takes time, man. He's been running for six years. He just blew up now at 24. I think he's 24 now. He started when he was 17, 18. It's crazy. Hard work. Consistency. He's, just like Jamie TV. Yeah, for years we've been doing this. Years. Would allegedly go on. Long live team. And long live on, uh -huh. long live my father, and free my uncle oh, Hodge. Draco hit him, lose his feelings, slump him in the yard. They looking for me, well, they know I'm on that boulevard. All of my niggas on go, running your shit and we strap with them poles. Chopper came for Russia, get on the flow. You make them one move and we popping your hoe. Since a young and all my niggas was bold. Rob a nigga, then chop at the stove. Took him down, now he heard he want smoke. Walk up on him with the eight and I blow. A cancel a nigga when he with his hoe. A dome check him when he come out the stove. The street should get wicked, you know how it go. My niggas is solid, we won't break the code. And just like the y'all still on my toe. These niggas is bitches, they know I won't fold. Hop out the whip with the stick and I scope. Glizz on me, bitch, you know what I told. Before we dive into the story of the tragedy that ended Boogie's life, we're going to discuss a drill that Screwly talks about in his lyrics. I don't have personal knowledge that he did this, but I'm just lighting up the lyrics. So let me know down below what you think. I'm gonna give him what he want, but his ass gon' die. Call a nigga leaving sharks, now his ass deep fried. Fuck my ops, just me, my guys. I'm gonna give him what he want, but his ass gon' die. Call a nigga leaving sharks, now his ass deep fried. Fuck my ops, just me, my guys. I'm gonna give him what he want, but his Sharks is a fried fish and chicken place in Gary, Indiana oh, that has several locations. Let's I go. was able to analyze all the drills that happened on the same streets as the Sharks fish and chicken locations in Gary. And I was able to find one that happened just three minutes away on the same street as the one on West 5th Avenue. On May 19, 2016, Warren Gates was shot in the neck oh, when he wow. was riding on the 2100 block of West 5th Avenue. This is only three minutes away from the Sharks location on 3740 young, West man. 5th Avenue, which is territory of Screwly G's Ops. Screwly G would later also catch a body on 4th Avenue yeah. on the street right <laughs> over. He just said that mad, like, nonchalant, nonchalant with it, like, Screwly G. G would also yeah. kill someone. Like what? At the save gas station. Allegedly. But we will discuss that later, later into the story. Roll up a op, which one we smoking? Hitting T.O.P. We don't them. Hitting his neck on his bloody choke. This and the dead nigga, stop that joking. Dog, roll up a op. You got references, dog. Like we smoking. Hitting T.O.P. We don't them. Hitting his neck on his bloody choke. This and the dead nigga, stop that joking. Dog. Screwly G would also rap about another drill that also happened on the west side. 
Better not get in cars with none of them niggas, better take the bus We gon' blitz the bitch and make him crash the corners, pick him up Pressure bent Better not get in cars with none of them niggas, better take the bus We gon' blitz the bitch and make him crash the corners, pick him up Pressure That was pretty good, I never heard someone say corner in the song Yeah It's pretty interesting Damn, he's talking about that joint I'm killing like. Ain't did what I did. We the main niggas bleed. Can't speak on them bodies. These niggas police. Spot me a op. I just hope you don't peep. Listen and traffic. He dying his V. Listen and traffic. He dying his V. Turn out bullets on that last hit. Fuck, switch too fast. Bell out the back of the track with a big ass Mac. He ran for his ass out of flash. We caught his ass out west and trailed him. East Blue Drake made his dumb ass crash. Shot his ass going on a date and made him a day broad day. We ain't give him a pass. All he heard was. Bullets went through the glass. You should have seen the shit I seen. We caught him and clapped, put belts his ass. Look, we caught his ass out west and trailed him east. Blue Drake made his dumb ass crash. Shot his ass going on a day that made him a day broad day. We ain't give him a pass. All he heard was. Bullets went through the glass. You should have seen the shit I seen. We caught him and clapped, put belts his ass. Look. Screwly G would start releasing music in 2018. Oh, wait, hold on, guys. I'm going to try to and speed this shit up a little bit. He's sucking too slow, and then also this is too slow. Let's try to say it's the 1.25 to see how it sounds. And he would slowly gain momentum in the streets. There we go. But better. his notoriety would also be increasing no, as good. the streets were becoming aware of the savage that was rising out of Gary. Screwly G would often include one of his main shooters named Jizzle in his music videos. Mm. Name Jizzle. Jizzle is currently incarcerated serving time for a shooting. Free Jizzle. Before we move on to discuss the next drills that affected the life of Screwly, we're going to introduce the different members of STK slash TTA. Screwly G huh? gives strict orders to his shooters. That's why they operate under shoot to kill, meaning he will not accept an attempted murder. Oh. He wants you to finish the job. You sure? I don't know about that. He we have TTA <laughs> Guapo, who's one of the main trappers for STK slash TTA. You can see him let us know on Facebook. He's on a 90 day grind. It started last week, but on phonum, no bull ishing, straight trapping. Although he's focused on his business endeavors, he's also an assassin. He says, I want you bad, I lay in your grass. Meaning, he will wait outside of your home to take you out. No shit. We also have TTA Yai, who makes music, but his full time occupation is being a stepper. TTA, we belt boys, nigga. SK, nigga, you know what the fuck going on. You know I had smoke your home. Killing to give me a rush. He was playing his ass, but you know he had got up on me. Bro, too hot, trying to jump out the car on the ops while the police right there on me. Go, don't stop, get caught, get left on the blocks, and twigs gonna burn off on me. LeBron, the man's ain't gone off a team. Drake is there, now you're with his friends. Two niggas dead, they were using their hair. I can get you a head like I'm working for Liz. I'm gonna smoke these niggas with a fun niggas, they'll can't catch who we killing this team. Bro, I'm gonna smoke these niggas with a fun niggas, they'll can't catch who we killing this team. Wow, Pizza. you're that demonic, you have to say you catch him in. I know it rhymes, but you talking kill about. His kids? Yeah, come on, bro. Nah, that shit is wah wah. <laughs> DAI like also has several songs with Screwly G. We also have TTA STK Batman. 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 He calls himself a Thai gang shooter in honor of Tyreek Fox, also known as Tink. He also considers himself Snitch K, meaning if you give information to law enforcement, <laughs> he will take your life. Okay. Badman would also say, I'ma show my Glock before I show my hand. Mm. Mo smoke, mo bullets, mo bodies, more tears, more doctors. We also have Ty Gang Ace, who makes music he and is Schooly G's cousin. Oh, wow. But he's also a notorious shooter. I'm different, niggas not fucking with me. A stench just got right under the tea. A few chops up in the car when I'm in the trench, so I am my duck in the beef. I go catch me a B and won't get on the flight with a stitch, man, they shit for some weeks. He tried to think of his dick, trying to slide on the whole set him up. She gave us the keys. We had to put up a straight, that ain't too loud. I'm knowing them niggas was hearing it. Mm. Look, bro, he was shooting, he still had the wheel. I'm like, how the fuck is he steering it? Mm. Mm. That was hard. I know we put up loud, I don't know if he was hearing it. It's still the steering it. I'm gonna listen to that song. That, damn, that was hard. I think, didn't we do that song? We did the song with him and Schooly that they shot off the music video. I know I keep saying that. Well, okay, okay, yeah. Because I remember him being in the front. Exactly. Drank some shit on my cup, but like I was doing experiments. I tried to spill. Mm. We a also word. have TTARJ, who's another cousin of Schooly G. And Schooly G. I'm always like, mentioned. damn, there's a lot of cousins in this rap beef in every city. But all it is is, let's say, you have a brother. You guys live in the same city, and you have kids, and they're cousins. It's not that deep. People try to make, oh, this is cousin. 
Bro, it's just that families live they live in the same city. They don't yeah. they don't get out. <laughs> yeah, they stay in the same hood, and a lot of it too. Sometimes they just call each other cousins. Yeah, cause they're close. Yeah. yeah, a lot of black folk do that, right? Black folk that they've done some things they can't speak about. R J has my book and say we did. Ten out of ten, get it in. R J has my book and say we did. Ten out of ten, get it in. RJ is also featured on one of Screwly G's war anthems with TTA Yai. We also have TTA Trill, who's one of the most low key members. Smart. But he swears loyalty to STK and TTA, and he will not have doubts to dive into a war. Ain't got nothing on involved. TTA real. Right, that's We good. also have J Money, who's one of the most feared sliders from Gary. He's loyal to STK nah, nah, nah. and he vows to put BTA to his ops. Mm. J Money also makes music on the side when on he's not side. spinning on ops. He tried to run, he still got bliss. I got number bones on my Christmas list. Spinning a merry expensive shit. Let his ass strip like a dancer, bitch. Try to slap with the ops, but his cock got flipped. Time to play ball at the till, let it rip. I'm gonna drive my gun, shot the bitch off the hip. They all sound like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they all sound like it. But that, that happens a lot in crews. Yeah. That happens a lot in crews. Everybody kind of like got the same uh, cadence kind of thing. Work. STK D4G, who's one of the most savage soldiers out of STK. We also have Teflon Juan, who's the we right the same hand one. man of Screwly G. Yo, yeah, yeah, they were in the video. He's one yeah. of the top assassins the same room. the group. Yeah, that's someone's queer, right? We also have TTA Vaughn, who's one of the most vicious gunmen from TTA. Damn. Not to be confused with another fallen member, Vaughn G. Mm. We also have STK Lil D, who's one of the youngest members, but he's earned his respect amongst the killers of STK. Other notable young steppers are Day Day and Jonte, who are cousins. Yo. As the leader, we have Deshaun Bradley, Damn. also known as Screwly G, who has gangster disciple roots, okay. which is a notorious gang out of Chicago. But in Gary, Indiana, they exercise hood banging which is the practice okay. to dedicate yourself to your hood rather than a specific gang. Screwly G and his STK associates would dominate Yeah, most the cities East. are like that. Uh, LA is more gang gangs, but also Philly, it's more hoods. Smaller cities, I peep, that it's more just hoods. Right, right, the hood right. Again. So, but LA is hood and hood and gangs. But yeah, that is true. I can't really say that because New York is like that too. It's, it's more hoods. Like It's not really yeah, what yeah. you are. It could be... You could be a blood and crip in the same set. And I'm looking at these guys and I'm like, wow, which one of these guys could have been? Doctors, lawyers, astronauts, firemen? Nah, they want to be YNs or they want to be... It's just like... They could have been mechanics, maybe. Mechanics. Possible uh, mechanics. Possible. UPS dude, they make 50 bucks an hour. <laughs> no, 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 they should. UPS doesn't make it <laughs> right. UPS, you know what I mean? What up, Brown? When I see the UPS dude, I'm like, what's up, Brown? They want to become shooters, bro. That's what they want to do. Yeah, this is sad, bro. It's tragic. Side of Gary, Indiana over time and they would ally with many of the other groups on the east side as they went to war against the west side of Gary. For nothing. The next series of events would turn groups on the east side at of least, the At least the Middle East, these people in the Middle East is fighting the war. They're going to war about real shit. Y'all be going to war about nothing, bro. Nothing, and then lies, and people be dropping. <clears throat> over Bodies nothing. drop, yeah. Bodies drop over. I mean, to them, it's something. So they see this video, they be like, oh, it is something. But nah, bro. I mean, realistically, we got to step back. And life's about longevity and surviving. And then you put yourself in a war zone. It's kind of hard to survive. Like, when you're a gangster, what are the two things that happen when you're a gangster? Death. Jail and death. Or death and jail. G and his STK TTA members <laughs> and Screwly G would decide to go to war with the entire city of Gary. Speaking of war. One of Screwly G's great friends from 2100 East Side, from Dory Miller, mm. was named Big Kev, government name Kevin Blackmon. Damn. Big Kev was a known hustler on the East Side of Gary, but he also was a state witness in a Ooh. case where one of his friends had to get into a shootout with two gentlemen who tried to rob him. Shelton Curtis, or better known in the streets as T-Man, was another hustler from Gary, and he would end up getting into a shootout with two 18-year-old men, James Powell and Raymond Washington Whitehead, who arrived at the home with intentions to rob him. Wow. Big Kev would testify, and he would say that after he saw a gun being waved, he would run to a room. He would say, bullets don't have eyes. 
he would claim he heard a loud gunshot, followed by 11 to 12 additional gunshots. Jesus. Big Kev would also add the details that the state intends to dismiss those charges in exchange for his testimony. He was facing charges of assisting a criminal and attempted dealing in marijuana. Big Kev would tell the court that T-Man would use a digital scale to weigh the high quality product known as Loud. Big Kev said that Powell and Washington Whitehead would arrive to the home and Curtis had arranged a deal by phone to sell them an ounce of the Loud. And then he said that he saw Curtis or T-Man load his gun and place it in his waistband after taking the call from the customers. Big Kev will continue testifying, saying that the men would arrive at the home, and one would tell the other that they can wait until their other man woke up if he didn't want to buy the loud from Curtis. Big Kev would say that Washington Whitehead then pulled a gun from his pocket mm. and pointed it at Curtis, who put his hands up and backed away. And then he said, I thought we were better than that. Big Kev would testify that he ran to the bedroom when the men began tussling. And then he heard a series of gunshots, wow. which he said sounded like they came from two different guns. He said he ran out of the home mm. after the gunshot stopped. Powell was found on the ground outside, and Washington Whitehead was found inside of the living room. Oh, so they killed both dudes? Wow, yeah. So they went to T-Man was killed. later acquitted in the drug deal double killing. Oh, wow. T-Man yeah, took the charges it's, it's, of... It's, you know, home invasion. Yeah, Not US. home invasion, because they... The self defense. Yeah, it's more self defense. Right. That's wow. crazy. Rest in peace of those two dudes, and uh, I guess it's a good thing for T Man to get all. I don't know. It's, we, the only people know that happened is the four people that were there. Let's put, leave it at that. Murder, but he was found guilty of attempted dealing in marijuana. And Big Kev would get his charges dismissed after he met with the requirements of his agreement with the prosecutors after testifying. Shelton Curtis, aka T Man, was killed years later wow. when he was found unresponsive in the driver's seat of an idling Kia. Yo. Oh, wow. So they got Kevin back. Kevin got back from Also him. known as Big Kev, would also lose his life oh. before T Man and the death of Big Kev he didn't leave would the city? have catastrophic consequences. Man was shot and killed in Gary, Indiana, and responding police ended up shooting the suspected gunman. It happened oh. early this morning outside a nightclub near 7th Avenue and Broadway. Police say when they arrived, officers saw a man, a suspected gunman, we should say, firing at a 28-year-old man who was already on the ground. Police then exchanged gunfire with the suspect. He was shot in the leg and treated at a hospital. No officers were hurt. Big Kev was taken out by Frederick Kraft in the parking lot of a nightclub when more than a hundred shots were let off. Wow. Kraft would begin firing at Big Kev and then he would continue firing into him. So after he, he ratted, on. he didn't leave the city? Oh my God, he's tweaking. People don't leave a seven a seven block radius from the hood. Yeah. Think about how many of you have never really been. You went and visit somewhere, but you come right back to that little two stores you go to. Yeah. But that dude did not want to go to jail. I'm out. I'm, I fall in my next scenario. I'm leaving Gary. I'm leaving the Midwest. Yeah. I would go to I'm like South Atlanta. I would move to Arizona. Yeah. Just leave that shit. Yeah. Tell everybody where you go. Underground. Ah! And then an officer would attempt to save Big Kev. And you would fire at Kraft. But Kraft would fire back, missing the officer. You shoot at no Three cop. firearms yeah. were found inside the vehicle of Kraft, including a modified Glock. Over 111 bullet shell casings were found on the scene. Frederick Kraft was found guilty and sentenced to 55 years Yo, for slaying. Uh, 32. Prosecutors would say that he fired more than 80 gunshots into a parking lot while wearing a bulletproof vest. Witnesses would also describe other yeah, gentlemen Yeah, he got 55 firing. years for killing a, a person, which is just the guy who ratted. it. And then he also got time for shooting at a cop. They made an example of him. They might as well just give him life. That's basically life, right? Yeah, and I don't promote violence, but... I mean, if you're going to kill somebody, why would you do it like in a nightclub with a bunch of people? Wait right? till he gets in the car and drives away or something. Yeah, wait till he throw his gar put his garbage out on Tuesdays. Yeah. You know where he lives. Yeah, like, like what's going on? Like, you did that, and then you shoot in a cop? <laughs> Wallet! <laughs> he, he was burnt out. Which might have made up to the total 111 shell casings later found. The day after the shooting that took out Big Kev, 
Screwly and Boogie would go to get vengeance onto the west side of Gary. Screwly would say, Lost Big Kev, me and Boog was out next day trying to get back for that. Right, day snitch. later, I, I just now. lost bro. Wish we ain't go on that drill. The same night we lost Big Kev, me and Lil Boog was our rats. Still can't believe I lost my dog cause we was trying to go slash. We always supposed to make it home and that shit fucked up my mind. When they say you died, I really cried cause you was supposed to survive. Wish, I wish I never took Boog on that hit, man, I regret that. Big murder cut me off and it been hard for to accept it. I wish I never took Boog on that hit, man, I regret that. If Boogie ain't die, wonder how would it be? Kill my little bro and I just wanna score. Booked out of my arms, hurt me to the court. Nigga shot my little cousin, ain't in no war. Touch one of mine and we burying yours. Got on the head, everything went wrong. Switch out on my brain, feel I'm better off gone. Break down in the corner, I'm feeling alone. Paint up a flow, getting hard to stay strong. Booked out on the head, everything went wrong. I killed myself for a little boogie had died. This broad is great, so it's out of my mind. Lost, but they found my soul, I ain't fine. Said pictures of tie with tears in my eyes. Start crying. Screwly G and Boogie will go into enemy Damn. territory around West 25th Avenue and Clark Road on the west side of Gary. Screwly G and Boogie would spot their targets and they would begin firing several rounds with their Dracos. You know what's switch. weird? Like I'm looking at this like, yo, there's people out here who has done multiple shootings, like let's say shootings, right? Not even killings. And if you get indicted, right? And let's just say they catch you for like three or four of those, you get life. You know that, right? Yeah. Like for three, for, even if you don't kill nobody, like if you get like three, four instances where you were shooting at people and shit, but didn't kill them. You're a menace to society. But that's what happened with Keith Flock. Keith Flock is facing life right now because not only- a New York drill rapper, by the not way. Not only the murder, but he also has like three other shootings he did throughout the years. Yeah. He got one like in 2020, 2021. He got like two in 2020 and like one in 2021. So that's why he's getting life because on top of the shootings, on top of the, the murder, he got like three other shootings he did, attempts or some shit. Wow. Crazy, boy. So crazy. Like, you got to be careful. Like, if you're in the streets, you can't be shooting at people every weekend. Your number one advice is get a job. Yeah. Stay off the streets, bro. Because if you eventually get indicted for this, you're going to get life. Yeah, and if you got wild heat on you, you got mad beef, you yeah. got a lot of smoke, Word. leave the town. Yeah. Pack your shit up, move to Wisconsin, move to Nevada, and go rent a room and get a job at CVS. Or construction job, maybe. Construction job. Work 12 hour days. And find yourself a fat girl that's <laughs> lo alone and move into her crib. <laughs> Literally, I take that. Jeez. The ops would return fire, and in the middle of the chaos, Boogie was shot in the heart. Smoothie oh. G would end up carrying Boogie back to the car and then rushing back home to change clothes and get his phone, and then he would take him to the hospital. I don't even know this. Screwly would take Boogie into the hospital, and when police would arrive, he would tell them that he got shot, but he doesn't know where the shooting occurred. According to his lyrics, he was right there with Boogie shooting. 2100 Over East members would place the blame of Boogie's death on Screwly. They would say that if he didn't take him on that drill, that he would still be alive. Jasmine Owens, or better known in the streets as Boogie, was pronounced dead at 11.15 due to the gunshot wounds of his they heart. Didn't they, wow, they didn't question Screwly? Wow, that's weird how they didn't really question Screwly, right? He just passed that, and it's like almost with the Melly situation. Like, YNW Melly went to the hospital with his two dead friends and mm -hmm. was like, yo, they just shot my friends. But they investigated him even more, and they found out that it looks like he did it, allegedly. But sometimes the cops don't care yeah don't investigate but with with that dude you're talking about high profile guy texas no he in florida 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 he went to jail yeah he's four years five years in he's missed trial his new trial comes to 2026 i think he's a sit now another year and a half oh wow sorry yeah gruley g's ops from the west side include the bronx fifth ave bottom side and the bronx they got the Bronx Bottom and side of Fifth Ave yeah. and many of the other West Side hoods would unite to create a new alliance called VMF or Visky Mafia Family mm. after a fallen member that Screwly allegedly took out, but we'll discuss that shortly. Members of VMF would claim that Screwly himself is the one responsible for taking out Boogie by accidentally shooting him in the heart in the middle of the shootout. VMF leader 1800 Sosa would say on Instagram, ain't going back and forth with nobody who shot their best friend in the heart. 1800 wow. Sosa would also mention this in a preview of so, the song. Uh, allegedly, he was on some Lil Lotus shit. Lil Lotus is another rapper from Dallas, Texas, mm -hmm. rolling a 60s member. He ended up himself. I think I told you about this before because he shot his best friend at a video shoot. At a video shoot, right? right. Yo!
That's a, one of the crazy stories in, in history of hip-hop. Did we do the 1800 Sosa? I feel like we did that artist before. No, 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 no. These are like local Gary Indiana guys. We don't know that. Okay, we don't know that. <laughs> 1800 Sosa would also mention this in a preview of a song. You need to take your gun, you shot your right hand man. In the heart, okay, I need to take your gun, you shot your right hand man. In the heart, okay, I Introducing Fiat Meth, Fiski Mafia family, in honor of JV on Hawthorne. VMF is a group of notorious shooters who have been into it with TTA and STK. They are from the west side and are built from many of the different blocks and hoods. Notable rappers from the group are 1800 Sosa, John Trey, and Lil Steve. Notable steppers from the group are Noli, Jew Bucks, Mott Mott, Fat Quan, Scotty D. Kane, Ace Trey, Fast Life Clutch, and Duda who is Dude. currently incarcerated. Dude. We also have some members providing infantry support and trapping. Infantry we have Lil support. Nate, D'Angelo Glow, <laughs> One Way Dia, KB, Bobby Draco, and Christian. Screwly G was now up against these gentlemen on the west side and also those on the east side who felt that he was the one responsible for Boogie losing his life. And I just life. said that, I'm like, how you bring your friends to the hospital, you don't know what could have happened. You could have been the one who did the crime. I said that before, I didn't even know what happened. Yeah, true story. So, allegedly, but people be lying, though. Like, the ops try to lie on the other ops thing, so we don't know if that's true. But the way school is making it seem like in his music, he's very, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's Definitely. very, what's it called? Emotionally. Um, no, um, he feels bad, almost like he feels guilty. Remorseful, remorseful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's see. Um, How do you feel about this? I feel that in the hood, and I always say the same thing. We don't really know what happened. The only people know that happened is Scrooge G, rest in peace, to Lil Boogie, 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 I think. Yeah. Boogie. Uh, uh, Boogie and the ops that was there. They yeah. know what happened. Forget what everybody else is texting on Instagram. Hold on. Right. <laughs> on the song Make Me Mad with Bloodhound Q50, Scrooge G would claim that he shot Mott Ma in the leg. Mama got dumb ass shot Schooly in the leg. G Crash would also oh. mention Fat Quan getting shot. Oh, wow. Schooly G would also mention the drill that took out JV or V. Yo, yeah, you remember that? Say some names. He, me he mentioned JV a lot in that song. That's his ops? Yeah, and Q50 mentioned him too, which is weird. I don't know how he has ops in Gary, Indiana. But also mentioned the drill that took out JV or Vsky. Finna say some names, let's keep it street and just not call the cops. Nah, he killed that shit. Uh, nigga said we can't post at the stove. Last time your homie died, this bitch has that about to pump right down his throat. I heard Fan Quan, she got a fan yeah. shot, must stop, we ain't gon' know. JV knew it was over when they bounced out on him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last time your homie died, this bitch has that about to pump right down his throat. I heard Fan Quan, she got a fan shot, must stop, we ain't gon' know. JV knew it was over when they bounced out on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, on June 19, each other, 2022, huh? Screwly G would find JV at the saved gas station and he would open fire with his Draco. <laughs> Screwly G would share these details with Q50 and he would mention them in his verse. JV, dad is still with his ass out. Draco shots at him running and tripping. Spinning a foul with school, he trying to bounce out, bro. They would just keep on flipping. JV, dad I don't like that. I'm very big on like not really inheriting beef. I think that's corny. I think it's cringe. Like when artists try to inherit beef in different cities. Like yeah. almost when Enelie chopped. He's not even cool with DD or something. He's like, if we sign up for Naughty or whatever. Like, bro, what are you talking about, gang? Don't like, inherit nobody's cool beef. No Enelie Yeah, I don't think they're that cool. Because he linked up with 4-1. And Lee Chopper, because you know people would just move on to the next big group that's lit. Yeah. But and Lee Chopper's from Memphis, he's trying to say shit that happened in Harlem. Like I don't like that. I think that's corny, bro. Like don't yeah. be trying to inherit niggas. Be that's who you should kill. Unless Fifty had a problem with JV. Yeah, you know what? Gary and Dan is only thirty minutes away. Yeah. So. Thirty minutes from New York City is what? I'm sure. Thirty minutes from New York City. Yeah. What's a city near? Pat Patterson, New Jersey. Exactly. You know? So it's like, it's right there. The Patterson, That's wow. how Drake those shots and the running and tripping. Screwly G would rap about this drill on several other songs. He said, I knew he was hit when I blew my chop on the ground. His did a twitch. JV or Visky was one of the main faces of Fifth Ave on the west side. And then VMF would shortly form after the slaying. And then they would also get revenge. Two days after Schooly G allegedly killed JV, VMF would get revenge and they would take out Jeremiah Williams from STK, also known as J-Main. 
Wow. Oh, nigga, fuck J Man, that bitch ass nigga dead. Light a spark, right, they need to not... take your gun. You shot your right hand man. Right in a heart. We might have to react to 1800 Sosa, man. I, I like to react to the um to the niggas who's lit ops because you get to see a different perspective on what's going on. Yeah, kind of see what's going on. And give them some light because I think that's it's whack, right? When you get like ops who's like lit, like your ops is mad, like, like school G's the hottest nigga right now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you're just like a local nigga from the city. So maybe react to him. Nigga, fuck J Main, that bitch ass nigga dead. Light a spark, they need to take your gun. You shot your right hand man in the heart, okay? VMF wow. from Gary's West Side is now officially at war with the Bloodhounds as well. Yeah, cause... Because Bloodhound Q50 this JV on his song with Screwly G. VMF member Lil Steve would fire back and he would diss Lil Jeff and he would also diss Bloodhounds and STK clicking up. Fuck Lil Jeff gotta do better. 19 tabs y'all just let him. Talk about VHSTK y'all sucking dick and y'all just met up. Talk that but no I won't let up. VMF leader 1800 Sosa would also diss the bloodhounds. The bloodhounds. Oh, shit, they know they can't finish. I know these niggas slow. Bitch, I'm BHSTK with a K to let these niggas know. I advise you not to diss the gang if you know where around. They know exactly what I'm on, bitch. I want blood. Fuck a hound. I mm. pull up with them V spilling blood on the ground. Screwly G would also make some out of town enemies when he would make a reference to the late FBG Duck in a snippet of a song. Where he would mention his name. Why? Niggas running duck. Catch me a nigga trying to shop at the store and bounce out on him and doing like duck. Niggas running duck. Catch me a nigga trying to shop at the store and bounce out on him and doing like duck. Many gangster disciples from yeah. Chicago. Yeah, would right. take offense to this line right, and Screwly would not release the song and he would also apologize to FBG Duck's mother and then I think it was just a punchline type of thing he wasn't dissing dissing him it was a punchline it don't matter yeah it's almost like saying niggas trying to P and B rock shout, shout out to uh, Duck's mother for still making sure people put respect on her son's name yeah she be wild though I think she got her OnlyFans and all that though yeah but OnlyFans doesn't mean sex Nah, there's like pictures, you know. It leads. Yeah, but OnlyFans doesn't mean sex. Yeah. All the time. People think that. But it, it, I, it means cheeks, though. It means cheeks. I don't want to spread misinformation. Is that true? I think I'm, I'm not getting the right mom, right? No, I think YNW Melly's mom made OnlyFans, too. Yeah. He changed his dude <laughs> and say that it's up with anybody from Chicago that oh, wants wow. to smoke. You keep talking about everybody who did duck that game. I said, this is the big lens that he can vouch. I had them on here, gang. On team, all the duck killers rump the street long enough until they got booked. None of you niggas killed none of them. Child bitch on. But y'all on this talking about screwly. On tink, I'll get into it. Whatever GD want to get into it. On tink, nigga. Fuck I talking about. Whatever GD want to get into it. Billy on that bitch, I'm like, whoever this and that boy, yo, you the same bum ass nigga that asked me for a feature on team, nigga. Be a real gangster and go to the DMs and don't don't unsend your message, gang. Swag, you was on my on my other page when they just clapped my shit at 200k on team, nigga. All these GD niggas was trying to work. On Jasmine Gray, King Yellow on that bitch saying what? Man, why you ain't say nothing? So really what it is, man, right? They mad I ain't say nothing about Vine. I use a Vine, a Vine bop. Let Yellow and them tell it, but I use a duck bop. And then, the G, and then they talking about I'm one of the folks. So y'all basically mad niggas, GD and not GD, which y'all, y'all washed up ass on, boy. So he got GD ties, okay? But is there, I, think, I don't think there's no BDs in Gary and Dana. So Pops, we have to do the part two, Billionaire Black. Everybody wants us to do it. Yeah, I saw that. It's in the comments. It's viral in the comments. So we got to do it. He's dissing Q50 on that song because he kind of dissed only Screwly G, mm -hmm. but now he's dissing Q50. So it's over. We're going to do it right now. On the great niggas will slap the fuck out of Billionaire and swag. On folks, neither one of them got back for neither one of their brothers, gang. On bro grade. Like, let's, we, y'all want to act like niggas on team. Boy, I really get like that. On jazz, and we all get talk to a camera. But on nature, how many of you niggas going to really come to Indiana or the rack and really get it on with me? How many? On jazz, and I bet you this bitch go off, gang. We ain't ducking, no smoke, no rat. I'm a gangster, but I'm a man first. Folks, mama got involved in that shit, gang. Oh, bro, I won't want my mama feeling like that, so I'm a gangster. If she felt played, I'm apologize. I'm not apologizing. Wow. None of them jazz niggas, though. On team. Wow, wow. Nation, he's a real one. Wow, Schooly yeah, yeah. taking accountability, right? So I'm a gangster, but I'm a man first. Respect to you, Schooly. Wow, that was, that was I said real. what I said. F talking about, nigga. You want to smoke about it? Do something, nigga. On Lil Bro Grave. On a team. Justin Ruger him by banging for a feature, not you. I catch a nigga downtown, hop out doing like duck like. Come on, man. Who raised you niggas? Who the f uh, I come to wreck right now and get know that Billion swag mad I ain't wanna do a song I come slap the shit out Billy Swag your ass a bitch looking like type nigga to go throw a party yeah. with Diddy Niggas to everybody who this dug done that But all these killers still living Let them niggas just roam the streets just long enough till oh, they went to prison ass. That ain't no disrespect to duck nah. I'm just showing the niggas who diss his bitch the Niggas in his own Aside from beefing with the some, Chicago yo, Savage That was some good punchline like He got good great wordplay Yo the way he broke that down was crazy It's gonna be interesting if he's able to develop his cadence and switch it up a little bit He did already with the melodic. I'm saying like a whole different Another thing. shit. Oh, wow. Here you go. He's really good. Almost like on some Dirk Drake shit, like where they could like mm -hmm. do different flows. Yeah, that's a good point. 
Bangers and beefing with the entire city of Gary. Screwly G is also into it with bloggers what? who do videos with his ops. A vlogger named Word from the Trenches did a vlog with Screwly G's ops from the west side, VMF. Screwly G would warn Word from the Trenches on his song Make Me Mad saying that he's gonna tag his toe when he finds him, meaning that he'll get him killed. Niggas doing interviews on them safe ass blocks, and niggas know we ain't no. Word from the trenches did that vlog, so when we catch on tagging his toe, lame ass nigga putting people on the smoke on the ground, I don't care, we still gonna go. Screw the oh, wow. is also. It's kind of cool that he's breaking it down because I didn't know what he was talking about in that song. Because I was like, what are you talking about? Yo, I don't like that though. Leave the vloggers alone, unless the vloggers yeah, are doing. Yeah, leave us alone. Unless they're doing weird shit and like actually dissing your mains or like, or like just being. The thing is that this is smaller, so this is like, they have personal connections. So like he. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that guy's probably from the bitty. Or yeah. something. He's, there's a connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't just randomly doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred percent. I get into it with the police out of Gary, Indiana. Niggas bogus as hell. They pulled up on me talking about they just seen me on live. Police on live. Yeah. Comment down below and let me know if you believe that Screwly G is the next drill superstar. Yes, IG and Live is real. Stay off the IG Lives. I mean, if you're going to be on IG Live, don't be outside. Because cops are watching, the ops are watching. It's your TV. We love you. Thanks for tuning in. in. We out here, man. And I know how I get, so I got still on, I'm on my knock. I don't trust no nigga, I don't trust no man, ain't no friends, everybody get shot. You never know, honey, ain't gonna throw, I'm hitting the floor with a couple of